Hello, my name is Robert Rowley, and uh, this is some of the work that I completed over an eight-day period. Um, and uh, basically, what I did was I built what I believe the parent of motor is built like, and then I put the magnets in, opposing each other pushing away from each other. Forcing away. Anyway, that's not the way the magnet motor will run. And, uh, but there are several other things that can be done to increase the forward motion and decrease the negative motion that is preventing this motor from running. Acts more like a brake. I haven't figured out the exact configuration of how the magnets are in the motor and or how the magnets are magnetized. This is the drawing of the configuration that I used. This is a 9 and 1 8 inch diameter wheel. It's approximately 1 and a half inches from here to here. Each one of these is 15 degrees apart, on these lines. That's 60 degrees. It's a 60 degree angle, 3 and a half inches on center. 1 inch magnets by half inch diameter opposing each other. Uh, this configuration does not work because the amount of negative forces between the magnets is are passing by each other right here. The length of these magnets causes this magnet and this magnet to push away from each other, even starting at this point over here. As far up as over here. So I'm pushing away. So, Reducing the length of these magnets creates the opposite effect to where it starts sucking it into this field, into this area. That would do something, but then over here, you can see with the system that I built here, that this statters are close to each other. You can see like with the parent dev, the motor, the uh, magnets are about five degrees set five degrees offset everything looks the same but I don't have a space in here and I determined that not having a space causes some negative force as well so I'm gonna separate them I really don't think that's gonna do all of it all of what we need the negative forces are actually uh, amplified by cramming the wheels together. So that is probably a good idea to try and keep them approximately an inch away from each other. If you're going to experiment with this technology, okay? Now, what makes experimenting in these areas very affordable is partnering and um, in what it costs. So far this motor took eight days approximately average of ten hours per day plus uh, I think maybe five hundred dollars in materials or something like that. So to continue the experiments I will have to buy different magnets and let you know after that. Probably looking at around $150 to $200 for the magnets. Basically, I watched the video. I have it at magnetmotortv.com, video one. I see the parent dev, I get all excited. It needs no input of any kind, spins. People look at it, they go, what was happening to the shaft on the other side? Is this a real video or not? Well, myself, personally, judging, I would say it's a real video. And that 
the way the magnets are in the motor is something that I haven't figured out yet. But I'm going to get to the bottom of it. And because eventually, just like the internal combustion engine, you put they put gasoline in the cylinder, they spark it and it explodes. Poof. It's obvious what's going on, okay? With magnetism, it's not quite as obvious. It's something you can't see, kind of like radio waves, okay? But it is something that can be understood very easily and be explained on paper. So once I figure out what the configurations are, I expect that I will figure out the way the parent motor runs and that that video is authentic.